So I just wanted to give an extra shout out to everybody who has been coming to the live streams and passing out free memberships. Last week, um, I got the notification at the beginning of the week that I hit 100 members, which is massive for a channel this size. By the day, by, by the end of Black Friday, we'd hit 200 members. That's insane. I cannot thank you guys enough for that level of support. If you're new to the memberships or if you've been a member already, do me a favor when you watch the podcast, if you guys like it, I know you guys let me know. Also, let me know if there's any other different kind of content or something I could add or subtract to the memberships that would make it a little bit more attractive for especially the new members to possibly continue the membership when your free trial is up. But all things said, genuinely appreciate the massive re ridiculous, insane level of support that you all showed to Kyle and I on this channel. And so we got Ottawa tonight. Now, before we get started, before we get started, I have to pass along some highly significant advice. This is, this is, this will serve you well at some point, possibly down in later on in your life. If you have a dog who has separation anxiety, don't run out of CBD, not even for a day. Holy. <laughs> Poor Fluffy, man. He's closing in on 11, and he normally has his CBD every day. But uh, with Black Friday and everything that happened, they didn't deliver it on time, so he didn't have any for the weekend. And he got it today, but, dude, the dog has just been whining and crying and bitching and moaning and groaning at me every time I'm more than two feet away from him. So uh, the point being there... Um, maybe I should keep an extra bottle. That's point number one. Number two is, should we lose this game? Should it go down in a um, unspectacular fashion? I am already preemptively, um, I'm not responsible for what I say in the post-game segment. All right, so we got the Senators tonight. Now, if you read the article that George Richards put out, uh, he explained how, well, Maurice, in his own words, was unhappy with the job that he did. He wasn't happy with the way the players played. I guess he said there were three guys that gave an effort or something to that effect. So he was unhappy with his job. Apparently he gave them one hell of a, of, of a skate the other day before they flew out to Canada. And I expect and suspect that we are going to take out our frustrations on the Ottawa Senators tonight. Not that they're a bad hockey team. They have some talent on that team. But I think you're going to see as close to a full 60 minutes as you can tonight from the Panthers. Now, the other thing is, apparently Bubba, 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 Bubba is in net tonight. Now, that might surprise some, but if you look at our schedule, it would not actually surprise me if he gets the next four games. Now, I know we're back-to-back, -back, but if we can hold Ottawa to under, say, 35 shots tonight, I say you throw Bob again out there tomorrow in Toronto. It's Monday, Tuesday. Thursday, Saturday, then we don't play again till Wednesday. So Bob is perfectly capable of playing these four games in what? One, two, that's four games in six nights. He's perfectly capable of doing that. Now, I'm not saying where it's a guarantee where we won't see Stolars tomorrow, but if Bob, you know, let's put it this way. I, I can't say the word because you don't want to say the word, but the last time that Bob did not allow any goals the next game he put stolars in and it didn't go well so um i wouldn't mind seeing bob the next four games we'll put it that way he's got plenty of time to take off after that other than that kachuk also spoke about the fact that he's a little bit disappointed that you know, he didn't say he was a lot disappointed but he said he was um he's never had an offensive start to a season like this 
Maybe it will get better against his brother. We'll have to see about that. He needs to start putting the puck in the back of the net. I'm not necessarily worried about the pace he's on and how many goals he's going to end up. Not worried about that, as you've seen with Sam Reinhardt. Usually starts off over October and gets 35 goals. I'm more concerned with the fact that we need timely scoring. This team, it, it depends on defense, timely scoring, goaltending. We're getting two of them. But you can't win any games if you're getting one goal and then no goals per game. Maybe Chucky needs to um, needs to put last year behind him mentally if that's what's holding him back. All right. He's been doing pretty good. Knocking on wood's been doing us pretty good. Let's stay healthy and get two. All right, so it's one nothing. Panthers after one. We look pretty good. Nothing overtly ridiculous. Like we're not flying around, you know, hitting people and everything. But we look good. We certainly look good, better than we did the other day. Um, Bubba's had to make a couple of saves. We had to kill off a four-minute power play. And we actually got our own PP goal. Would you believe that? We got a power play early on and good puck movement between Barkov and he gets it behind the net to Kachuk who sends it right back in front out to Reinhardt, who buries it for his 409th goal of the season, and it's 1-0. We've had a couple of opportunities. Eggblad hit the crossbar. I don't even know if Corpusalo saw the shot, went flying by his head at the last second, and he hit the crossbar. It doesn't go in. Um, Barkov still is just not, he just won't shoot the puck. He's Barkov is almost turning into Huberto before our eyes in terms of anytime he gets the puck, all he wants to do is skate around and distribute the puck. Now, with Reinhardt getting goals, that's okay, but Rodriguez has kind of got the same game where he's distributing the puck. So some I wouldn't I wouldn't be against um a reorganization of that line. If Barkov's not going to shoot the puck, he needs somebody more than Reinhardt on that line who's going to be willing to put the puck in the direction of the net. That said, it's one nothing. I don't trust that lead whatsoever. All right, so three nothing Panthers after one. I like it. I love it. I love to see it. Three power play goals. Now, Here's what I'll say. Every time I'm in here to record, somebody's running the water up against me. This, this is my basement. Above is the kitchen. So I apologize for the sound effects. Now, here's the thing. If you're an Ottawa fan, you're watching this. I'm, I'm always as honest as I possibly can here, okay? The, from the replays that we saw, I mean, we were all kind of like, yeah, that's offsides. That's getting called back. So... I don't know if they didn't see enough to overturn it or if they had a different angle. Don't know. Um, but they called it a good goal on the ice. And then to make matters worse, we got a power play because of the lost challenge. And we scored on that. So that's that's rough. And it's, it's um, coming out on the ice here. And, you know, there was this big scrum right at the end of the period, right? But... Before that, I don't know, five minutes, six minutes left in the period, I'm bitching and complaining because Brady Kachuk comes up on the bob, gives him a little snow shower, and his skate comes right up on the bob's skate, uh, right up at the bob's glove. And it was Montour and somebody else that was just standing there in the crease, and they just let Brady Kachuk do that to Bob. Nobody said anything We're like, hey, hey, Brady, how you doing? Nice to see you. They just totally let him do it. And then somebody laid Rodriguez out, just like splattered him all over the freaking ice. And then here at the end of the period, I guess Kachuk was getting a little Kachucky, right? He was doing his thing. And so Brady's all over the ice yelling and screaming about something. So apparently their mom says they're not allowed to fight, which you're probably not going to see them fight. However, I would love to see Brady Kachuk against Gadjevich in the third period, all right? Let's go, because he you can't just let the dude go up to our goal. I don't care who it is. You can't just let him snow job Bob in the crease and put his skate right up against his glove, and you just give him a pat on the ass and say, nice, God, nice job, Brady. That's not okay. So uh, this third period's fixing to get pretty damn interesting. Let's finish this off and get two. Oh, 
One, two, three, four, five, two points, and this is gonna hurt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen ejections. <laughs> Everybody on the ice has been ejected, plus there's more. <laughs> oh, it's totally worth it. Oh my god. Um now this this is definitely one of those days where I'm really, really happy that I do the format of coming in here in the intermissions. Because I told you, I said you can't just let Brady Kachuk come up to Bob and give him a snow job and you just can't let him do that and I don't know exactly what Matthew said and who he said it to or what but whatever he said <laughs> pissed off the entire the entire <laughs> unbelievable I mean I, I don't know what he did they didn't show anything that he actually did that was so egregious that it would have justified how pissed off they were at him. So I'm just assuming he said something. Whatever it was, I'm sure Mama's going to hear about it at, at Christmas dinner. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> Brady Kachuk was just all sorts of bent out of shape. And <clears throat> look. I get it. it you, you get out of control. I'm not going to sit here and say he needs to learn to control his temper, all of that. It's hockey. I loved what happened on the ice tonight. Now, obviously, obviously, it's usually not optimal that you end the game with your backup goaltender sitting on the bench next to your number one defenseman wearing a baseball cap. You don't see that every day in the NHL. 84 minutes of penalties for Ottawa. 83 for the Panthers, or maybe it was flip-flopped. Either way, um, I just I don't know anybody that's seen anything like that before. When that ref came out and said everybody on the ice is ejected, the only question I had was was he talking about the goalies too? Because he said everybody. <laughs> I was a little bit worried that he was just gonna say, screw it, Bob and Corpusolo, you're out of here too. And look, um, I mean, because Brady did it again, right? That's what kicked off the whole thing. I told you, he did it once to Bob. Then he comes out of the box. Bob stops him on the breakaway. And Brady run, you know, he didn't, it wasn't like he was really rough. But he, he ran into Bob. And everybody went after him. And then just everybody went after everybody. And then it was almost, it was almost settled. And number one, as an aside, why didn't the refs just let Kachuk and Gadjevich go after it? I mean, those two refs were using every ounce of their strength to keep those two separated. Makes no sense. Just let them go. But it was almost settled down. And then Kachuk reaches towards Lomberg and starts, you know, shoving him again, face washing him. And the whole thing started all over again. And I think that's when the refs had said, that's it. Y'all out. That's the best thing I've ever seen. I mean, I've seen it all, but that's the best thing. I mean, other than winning the cup, yeah, I mean, just, I'm being hyperbolic, obviously, but still, um, what, 5 nothing, and it's just got to be, I don't know who Ottawa plays next, but y'all might want to consider forfeiting because <laughs> you're going to get your asses kicked. <laughs> I don't believe what I, I mean, that was just glorious. So first of all, let's just start off. Bob had a nice game. He made some good saves. There's no reason not to play him against Toronto tomorrow. And then let Stolarz take the Thursday game against the Canadians. Um, on the ice, obviously, we looked good, right? Okay, Barkov actually took two shots in the third period. I was shocked to see it. He shot it right into the belly of the goaltender, but at least he took a couple of shots. It's an improvement, right? So Reinhardt gets two more, so he's on pace for like 150 goals. 
think it's going to cost us like $20 million. Just don't even get me started there. Um, Lusterinen got one. Verhage got one. Where was the other one? Who was the other one? Damn it. I forget. Reinhardt, Reinhardt. Nah, it doesn't matter. We got five goals. I forget. Somebody will tell me in the comments. We got distracted because it was just like, it was absurd. I was That was the best thing I've ever seen on, on the ice. Certainly one of the best things I've ever seen in a Panther game. Everybody on the ice is ejected. And and to make it to make it even funnier, I guess, he did dole out two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. And we ended up with a power play out of that because the original penalty was Brady Kachuk. They got him for goaltender interference. That was interesting. Um, but, I mean, he did. So when it was, you know, after that, we actually did it with a power play. And just... <laughs> I don't know why they didn't just let Kachuk and Gadjevich go. I mean, he wanted to. He was doing everything he could to get past the ref to get to Gadjevich. So I think that that would have that would have ended things a little bit better because even after that, they 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 went at it again for Hagee, I forget who, um, but they they started going at it again, and there were more ejections. At least they didn't take everybody off the ice. They knew they couldn't take everybody off the ice. Um, and the, the best part about it is all those guys got a break. They'll be nice and fresh and rested because we play the Leafs tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that is not something I'm going to forget ever. Everybody on the ice is ejected. <laughs> Whatever we put it. A 10 minute match penalty for all the players on the ice. And more. There's more to come. Oh, my God. I mean, I don't even remember anything else about the game. What, a, what else is there to remember about the game? That's, that's the, remember the game that everybody got ejected? That's the one game. That's it, right? It's like the Panthers have those things, right? We got the 20-round shootout, all right? Right? We now have the game where um, everybody on the ice got tossed out, okay? Uh, I think... Somebody could correct me if I'm wrong here. Somebody could correct me if I'm wrong. But I have a feeling that our Game 4 loss to the Avalanche is most likely some kind of record of the longest one to nothing game that ended in a Stanley Cup championship that went to overtime. You see what I'm saying? I'm sure that that's something that's only happened once. Uh, there's probably more. Probably definitely we're the only team that has a win where the opposing goalie had to hide in the net because the rat's getting thrown at him. But this one takes the cake. Everybody just ejected. And and so I'm happy with how it went. Obviously, we had not played well. Maurice spoke about how he said he didn't feel like he had prepared the team. Well, they was ready tonight. But, oh, man, I, what I wouldn't give. And... Either, either nobody's going to ask the question or Matthew's not going to answer the question. But I would, what I wouldn't give to know what he said because there was all sorts of lit like a firecracker after him. And, I mean, unless he did something off camera that they didn't show, which is obviously possible, right? Um, but other than that, Boston lost tonight, okay? And we get two points. We got Toronto tomorrow. Now, the key here is keep the same energy, guys, okay? You know, that was that was fun. That was fantastic. I'm sure all the guys had a good laugh in the dressing room, especially when Verhage comes down the tunnel. Like, you got ejected? Are you kidding me? <laughs> right? Um, but we do have to play the Leafs tomorrow. And, you know, that 2-3-4 that spot there in the division, Panthers, Leafs, Lightning, I have a feeling we're going to be like playing flip flop between those three teams the entire season, and it could play into who plays Boston first. Which, as much as I have confidence that we would beat Boston in the second round, I'm not interested in playing them in the first round again because they probably will really learn their lesson. You know what I mean? The Bruins, I don't think are good. so. Um, Get, we need two points tomorrow night. Even if we have to go to overtime and take the Leafs to overtime, that's fine. But just keep the keep the same energy, right? Ride this. Give let this 
give us a little bit of a boost of energy because I mean you you gotta you gotta you gotta take the special moments when you have them right and when everybody on the ice gets ejected and you win five nothing now the flip side of that is like I said whoever plays Ottawa next just don't even show up just just seriously save yourself the trouble because they just got their asses handed to them at home by the captain's brother five nothing had the team got ejected and they and the crowd is booing and they're salty and it was just that i wouldn't want to be in that locker room at all right now because that's not a happy group of guys you know they expected to be competing for a playoff spot i know some people thought ottawa would, would compete for a playoff spot it's not working out for them so well and i don't understand because it seems like they got a good team um, I know Corpus Allo is a pretty decent goaltender, so I haven't paid close enough attention to find out what, what's going wrong there. They're just kind of middling around 500. Maybe they got discipline issues because they sure as hell had discipline issues tonight. So, all right. It's a good night. It's a good night. You know what I mean? I mean, regular season wins most of the time. It's like two points. All right, we win. But this one, <laughs> I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't <laughs> Exactly. Speechless. That's the word. So, um, real quick here. Thank you, everybody, for coming out to the stream. Had a ton of people. Really, really appreciate that. Uh, Stu and I will be live for the members' Patreon supporters tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock in the morning. Just 200 members now. More than 200 members now. Links are in the description. Three bucks a month. We go live with the review, and then I'll put the review out sometime like 9, 10, 11 o'clock, depending on if I need a nap after that. And, of course, there's the Monday through Friday podcast. Today, I had Paul from the Locker Room on. Tomorrow, Nick from Tristan Rister will join me for the Members Only podcast. And as for the rest of you, you're all ejected. 